So right now that we are here outside at the pool bar, let me tell you what I think about the cruise. I really, this is my first time taking the cruise now. And I like the cruise, yeah, I wanted to experience the cruise, but back today for an hour all our entertainment in the city here in Bermuda yeah, I just want to show you our cabin and we are in the 8th floor I'm going to show you the hallway it's a long hallway to walk but we are I think that we are in the most entertainable floor <laughs> let me just say here in this floor the 8th floor is all the casinos few bars and Casino, restaurant, bar. There's a lot of entertainment in this floor, so we are happy about the floor that we got. So let me show you our room. Welcome to our room, and this is it. It is a king bed. You don't have that much space, so ain't no much walking around. So you know, like three, four people gonna stay in the same room, even though it has some bomb beds in there. The, at first, we have it to have our daughter in there. I don't even know how that works. We haven't even tried because she's sleeping with my mom right now because my mom is here in this trip so she's sleeping here in the room but this is two bomb beds that we have up there king side bed closet i mean i tell you before i mean the first time that we were sleeping in here this thing was moving in the office like this it can leave and let you sleep i have to hug all my husband's clothes that way it can stop doing all that but this is the closet right here and you have a safe if you want to put your uh, your important things in there and then so yeah. this is the bathroom it's a very compact space it's not like you have too much space it's just like for one person do whatever you need to do over here toilet the sink and then here is your shower and this is the bathroom right here that's home and then i already just showed you the room that is pretty much it okay, this that you can use it as a little desk like if you have to work or anything you have this little uh thing right here that you can use it as a table or somewhere to sit um and that's it pretty much i mean enough for two people let's say three people i think will be too much well my daughter she's just a key so it would be okay but three grown people in here we initially it reserved like for for the four of us my mom my daughter and us and then we changed it we got her a home room i'm glad that we did that because it's too bumped over here but four people is just trying to do what they need to do shower and everything and go to the bathroom is too much just to move around you can see this little side over here just for you to get in it will be I tell you, for four people, you will be a disaster. Two grown people and a kid probably okay, but more than that, no way for it. So even if they offer you a king size bed with two bomb bed for four people, this space is too, nah, I mean, too compact for four people, just so you know. So this is our room. We are about to rest tonight because we are very tired. We have an amazing day today in Bermuda. We walk around a lot. We went to the beach. You, well, you will see that, or you already saw that in the video. The beach is amazing. The sun and the water. The water here is so beautiful. It just the, the weather didn't help it because it was very cold. But the beach, oh my God, the beach is over here. And then when we was coming back in the bus, the other area around the beach, it was just now I just was so mad that we were not able to go to those or other areas. But it is amazing. If you get the chance to come over here and visit the Bermuda, just come. It is, it is beautiful. This is what I actually call like if you want to have a little resting time in an island. This is what I call an island type living. Just like resting. It seems to be so calm and, and just not so much rush. And it just got nice. And well, you have to think about it. Just, I think the population in here is just for the entire island is 64,000. Well, the last uh, census they have is 64,000 people. 
So when you have not too many people, I guess that you can have more control of your population. And this is to be very quiet, uh, easy going, not too much traffic. It's just nice to be, it seems to be so nice to be here. So yeah, I'm glad to, that made the trip, even though we came the first, we came here, like I said, in 2009, but uh, we have like another mentality when we came in that year. We just came to visit. We wasn't paying more attention to, I guess, the quality of living or anything like that. But this time, I really, really like it. Yeah, I was, always, I was more appreciative of the island. So that is all what I have right now. I keep showing you more tomorrow. So today, I'm gonna give you a tour to this cruise ship, and this is the Norwegian getaway. And it actually has 16 floors, but the only floors that are available for everybody is from the 4 to the 16. So we're gonna start right here on the 8th floor, which is the same this floor, we're gonna start right here. So let's go. So like I say, I'm gonna start on the 8th floor, but I'm not gonna show you the entire ship because I don't want you to click off my video and missing out my <laughs> duration view. So I'm gonna show you just the, some of the entertainment, a good part of, the, of this boat. So let's go. And some of the good things, that you know just like we saw are bars these bars everywhere like pretty much in each floor you can find a bar and restaurants so when you buy your package to win the chip some of these restaurants are complimentary and some other are a la carte like this one right here this one is not complimentary so if you actually visit this uh, restaurant you will have to pay when you come here then right there on the left you will see a bar and right, right in front of it is the cigar bar and you already know my husband being there a couple times already and right there is a bar it's another bar right here outside so let's go outside and get me a drink So right here in our left, you have Wasabi, which is like a Japanese restaurant bar. And then on my right, you have another bar with the sugar cane bar. This is a good for mojitos, so I'm gonna have to come back later and try some mojitos here. Oh yeah? And, oh, I forgot to mention this place right here, it's Hive. Uh, let's go over here. Which I haven't gone to this place yet, but we friend me try it tonight. And this place, Kai Vodka. It seems to be in this place, it's everything is ice, everything is frozen, even the cold, the bar, everything. So the temperature there is 17 degrees, so you have to be very, with a good cold to go there. So we may try that tonight, and then I can show it to you. So I also forgot to mention, there's a lot of things going on here, but if you are into the uh, sushi type, this is a raw bar right there. So you can go and get your um, sushi type of food there. This right here at the end, this is a la carte restaurant and we ate over there at the Cannes Steak House and it was really good. My husband ordered the steak, he liked it. I didn't order the steak because I was too full that night, I just have something simple. But we like the food over there in, in this restaurant right here. So right now we are gonna go to the seventh floor. We're gonna take the stairs to show you more um, interesting things on the seven and sixth floor. So here in the seventh floor we have more uh, restaurants and also we have the casino. And I think that's some of the entertainment that are here in this floor. Okay, right there at the end. I missed it because it's closed right now, but that's another restaurant, the Tropicana. We ate that and the food was, was good. So that right here you have in our uh, left, you have a bar and then you can play a gamble. Let's say gamble. I don't know what you play there because I haven't tried, but you can gamble right there at the bar. And then right here we have this, uh, I can say that name, Chan. I don't want to even try. Chan. Chan Gay? Chan Gay? I don't know. This is another person right here on our right. And this right here where you have the casinos and then you have the uh, slot machines and then you can play blackjack. The things that I like in the casino is the slot machine and blackjack. And actually having tried to gamble this time because really, I, I, I mean, say we really I win anything. Most of the time I lose. 
so I haven't even tried to gamble this time. So I said that I wasn't gamble this time, but my husband said he has to change his bag and we're gonna go and hit the slot machine for a minute, so we can go there. <laughs> so right here you have one slot machine, and then you have the, the tables where you can play the blackjack. And then passing through the, um, the casino area, then we have here another restaurant and bar. So I like this bar right here, or this area right here, because it's so cool. You can eat at the restaurant and also you can look down at the sixth floor. So in the sixth floor is what they usually have, what they play, like music, they do a lot of games. So what you can do over here, if you have, after you eat over here, you sit over here, you can watch whatever they're doing down on the sixth floor. We're gonna go to the sixth floor in just a minute. So right here is pretty much the end of this house, but what, I, <laughs> what we come to find now is this stuff. Each floor have two sides. If you take the wrong elevator, you can get lost. <laughs> the first night to get to my daughter's and my mom's room, I got lost because I took the wrong elevator. So even though we are here showing all this side, it's another side. So the eighth floor, there is some other thing, probably the rooms and some other things, but right here in this area, this is what they have. So right now we are gonna go down to the sixth floor. So now we are on the sixth floor. Let's go right here to our uh, left. This is like a cool area where you can take pictures. They have like a lot of uh, cruise ship items. I don't know how to call it, like all things. So in this floor is what I was showing you on the seventh floor looking down. So in this floor where you have uh, the internet cafe, guest service and other things. Like right here where we get into our right, that is where they play movie, live music, they do the trivia and all that. And also we have a Starbucks cafe, so you usually see a lot of people sitting down in this area all day long. So right here on my left is where you have the internet cafe, you have a bar and then you have a Starbucks and you can sit over there and work if you have to work with your internet. And then here in my right is where you have the gay service, um, the gay service area. Now if we keep going straight, then we will see more restaurants here on this floor. So right here on my left, if you see another a la carte restaurant, Le Bistro. We haven't tried that one yet. And here on my right is a comedy club that we will try to get in tonight. We don't know yet, but uh, they have some comedy show playing tonight. So right here on uh, my left, you see another restaurant that we have over there, and I believe that one is a la carte too. And right here in the middle, they have a, a lot of paint, art, for sale. And they did have an option today and yesterday. But right now, when we're coming out this hallway, you will see in our right, we have the restaurant named Saver. And let me see if I'm right. <laughs> Yes, Saver on my right and on my left is Taste, and those two restaurants are complementary. So if you buy your package, it's going, you can come and have breakfast, dinners, and lunch, and it's a complimentary restaurant. And also right in the middle, you have your bar right here. So you know, you have bar, you have bar everywhere. So here we are in floor 12 and basically here is mainly also accommodations and here they have this for kids, this is Splash Academy where you can sign up your kids and then they have like free schedule and then you can bring them over here, just leave them over here to play for about three hours, three to four hours, you just leave it over, over here to play and then you come back and pick them up. We sign up our daughter, you said you came here to play one time because they were saying, uh, talking about doing some um, pizza, pizza, make out, make some pizza, and it's, it's, how do you call it? It's gotta be hot or something like that. And the day she came, they didn't do that, so she didn't want to come back. <laughs> she was ready to go when she found out they were doing that, what she thought they were doing. So, but that's a good thing. They even though if you, they even have one that is from nine, I think until from nine to twelve or from nine to one a.m. So if you want to do something during the night and you want to leave your kids over here, 
you can leave it until 1 a.m. So that's cool. So basically on 13 and 14, they also just have accommodation. We're gonna go to the 15 where they have the buffet. And then 16 and 17, they have other activities. They have like pool heated and um, a hot tub and all that. So like I was saying, if you take the wrong elevator, you can go to the wrong place. Well, this side of the floor 15, we usually take the old elevator to take us to the uh, buffet. But this side of the 15th floor, this one have over here the barbershop, the fitness center, and all that. So if you come over here and get all those calories eating, because it is amazing when you behave at home, when you be saying, oh, I don't eat that much breakfast, I do me a shake, I do this and that. And when you come to a resort, or a cruise you forget all about that and you want to try everything that you see so if you are one of those then they have the fitness center over here that you can uh, <laughs> burn all those calories uh, while you're eating it and then if you will ever wonder how much a haircut in a cruise will cost well my husband came this morning to check how much it would be this morning and he said it was a hundred and fifty dollars for a haircut <laughs> For that amount of money, he can have like the entire year haircut in Santo Domingo <laughs> for 2023. So right here outside on the 15th floor, they have like a pinpoint area and they have other activities. Oh, they have a bar. I came in here earlier. And the hot tub and all that is here on the 15th floor in the outside area. So here they have the hot tub and the pool is heated. So right now that we are here outside of the pool bar, let me tell you what I think about the cruise. I really, this is my first time taking the cruise now. And I like the cruise, I yeah, wanted experience on the cruise, but I feel the movement, I don't know how to call it, but I feel the movement of the cruise too much. I don't know, especially at night. When you go to sleep, if you are not sleeping, you I feel the cruise moving too much. Is that I don't like. I like to be in the cruise, but I don't like to keep thinking that I'm in the, in the middle of the ocean with water. I like to be calm and relaxed. Uh, but I hear from some of the people, especially from my family, uh, from my husband's side, that they say they have been in other cruise, and this is the first first cruise they, they feel they move that much. I don't know what is the reason, but they say this is the first cruise that they have been that it moved like that. So we will try it again another cruise. But so far, so good. The only thing that I said, if we am coming to take another cruise to a, if I'm coming to an island destination or a Caribbean destination, I will not do it in the winter time because I don't want it to be cold. I want this to be an experience, like a hot experience. Coming to um, Bermuda, I thought it was gonna be hot, but no, it was totally the opposite, it was cold. The only cruise that we wanted to do with a cold experience is going to Alaska. We already know it's gonna be cold in Alaska, so we expect that. But I'm not coming to a hot destination and then it's cold. It's not like it wasn't what I was expecting. But other than that, it's great. I like the experience. A lot of people in the cruise, I like to meet a lot of people. One thing that also we noticed is that the cruise is a lot of people in the cruise. Like when you go to a resort, you usually bump to people, you meet people at the bar from different places and this and that. But here is like all the bars that you go is always overcrowded. It's like too many people at the same time in the same places. I don't know if it's all of them like that, uh, but that's what we feel in this uh, cruise. Like, or probably we don't know if it's because the weather is so bad that everybody like congregating in the same area at the same time. Like right now, it's a lot of people outside in the pool, but it's raining and it's it's a little cold out here. So you still have some people enjoying outside and the pool and the hot tub, but it's cold. So most people are inside. And then probably why the reason, why so many people from gray in the same area, because they all want to be in the warm area. So we will give it another try because I love the cruise. It is a good experience. So this is the 15th floor. And we are still going to the buffet and you can go to the 16th floor but it's right now it's raining we're gonna go there but we're gonna wait until the rainy the rain is stop a little bit and then we're gonna go to the 16th floor so right now we are gonna enjoy this drink a little bit and then just so you know this is brugal and coke yes we are knowing dominican republic and we are still drinking brugal and coke 
that's how loyal we are to the VR. So this right here is the garden cafe and this is the buffet. So this buffet, I think, I don't know if it's open 24 hours, but every time I come by, they serving some food. But it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know what time they close, but like I say, I always come here anytime, and they always open and serving food. Guys, today I'm... So guys, today I'm gonna give you a proof. So guys, today I'm gonna give you a tour to this cruise ship, and this is the Norwegian getaway. And Norwegian, Norwegian. okay. This ship has 16 floor for actually you can just. Uh... So the temperature over there is 17 degrees. So you. Are... You walking around like that? I don't know if you have recorded me like that. So. I don't know, he goes down by himself. Oh, okay. oh my god. Right. So in this room where you have the internet cafe, you okay. Huh? Ah, okay. <laughs> la cucina, or la cucina, like we say in Spanish. And I will mention that some more are part of the um, complimentary. Yeah, mm -hmm. some of them are complimentary, and some of you have a la carte. Uh, a la carte, that's what you say in English? A la carte. Yeah. A la carte. Okay.